video right here. And again, this is not AI. This is this is Donald Trump recording himself. This is the this is what he considers to be him at his best. Play this clip. Radical left Democrats are at it again. They're constantly making up stories about me because their candidate is a mental and physical basket case. Has never been anything like it. He's also the worst president in the history of our country. He went on a very poorly rated show last night and he talked about Donald Trump and his wife. I don't know the name of my wife. He was referring to the fact that at CPAC, where I had a sold out speech, the biggest audience they've had in years, I think maybe ever, I made the statement that Melania was very popular because when I mentioned her name, the audience went wild. I then looked at the two people, man and wife, Matt and Mercedes Schlapp, and I said, wow, they really like the first lady. So this got taken is the fact that I thought Mercedes was the first lady. It has nothing to do with that. These people are really dishonest. They are absolutely something. They have a horrible candidate who's a horrible president. <laughs> they make up things constantly. You take a look at when I use Barack Hussein Obama and I interject him into where it's supposed to be Biden. And I do it purposely for comedic reasons and for sarcasm, because a lot of people say that Obama is running the country, not Biden, because he's sleeping all the time. They say, oh, I don't know the name of the president. Or when I imitate this guy getting off a stage, what they do is they say, oh, he had trouble getting off a stage. I have no trouble getting off a stage. Anybody that watches what I do at rallies would say, wow, that's amazing. He can go two hours without a teleprompter, not making even a little mistake. Very few people, maybe almost nobody can do what I do. So here's the story. The disinformation of the Democrats is unbelievable. They do it because they have a horrible candidate. Don't associate me with the mental midget that you portray, because I want to tell you, he should not be leading this country. And hopefully on November 5th, he's not going to be. We're going to have a big election. We're going to have a big victory and we're going to make America great again. Thank you. Now, if that doesn't scare the absolute crap out of you, wow! It also make you go, "What the heck was that?" Cohen, I want to get your reaction. I don't even, I don't even know where to start. You have to break down, you know, line by line of lie. First of all, Joe Biden's not sleeping all the time. All right, I mean, it's it's almost it's almost funny uh, that you know he brings that. Second of all. I believe that there was a poll, and that's what he's referring to right now. That, and that's what's bothering, you know, von Schitt's and pants here. <laughs> what's bothering him is that he was voted as the worst president in the history of this country. Not Joe Biden. He was. And so projection, 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 right? It is, it's, it's almost comical. I mean, the notion that you know, the whole thing with Matt Schlapp and his wife, Mercedes, you know, everything. He speaks for two hours without making a mistake. Seriously, this ass clown can't go 30 seconds without fucking something up or lying about something or just going off script and making up some sort of nonsensical story like Obama is running the country. Really? I mean, where, is, where do you even get that? Where is this information coming from other than his ass? It's coming from nowhere. You know, there's like an expression for somebody like Donald. I bet that his, his ass is jealous of the shit that comes out of his <laughs> mouth, right? There's no other way to describe it. It is stupidity to the nth degree. Imagine, imagine what we're all thinking right now. How fucking stupid this guy actually is. But we're Americans. We're, we're Americans. Imagine what our adversaries and allies internationally are thinking about the fact that this country has this guy as the potential nominee for one of our two political parties. What the hell are they thinking about us? How fucked up is America that this guy could be at the helm of one of our political parties. Ed Scratcher. 